amazing that this film of ours is seeing the light of day on, on the 4th of September. It's absolutely amazing. A very interesting question would be to you that since uh, you've read the script and you've also now seen the film, um, what do you see as, as different or what do you see as, how would you compare the Actually, two it's, experiences? Actually, it's a very good, because, uh, because the script is a very visual script. I mean, it's yeah. the images that it creates with his words are very visual. Even the thoughts are very... So, I have seen the film develop as pretty much as I thought it would. I have not okay. seen any vast differences. One of the, for instance, the, the whole the, the character of that uh, Shishir is played. Hmm. Zurwan. Yeah. Uh, that in my mind was, I saw that slightly different from reading the script. I right. saw it more of a totally unreal, right. but he's done a marvelous performance, nothing right. to do with his performance. That right. is one aspect which I saw slightly, but it works. Right. It works very well. Maybe if it had been totally off in the clouds, it wouldn't have been so effective. Right. But basically, I saw the, the film progress from a very marvelous script mm. to a very, very lovely film. And you're talking about religion. I, of course, am not a Parsi. I'm like you. I, I don't follow any... I, I shouldn't say I'm like you. I don't follow any particular religion very closely. But having seen the film, it's, this, your film is much more than just about Parsis and Zoroastrianism. It's about all the issues which any thinking person today is faced with. So I think it's... And being a... I played a Parsi priest before, so it, it's not that I'm totally unaware of... But as I've said in a few interviews, my entire family is full of Padris on all yes. sides. Yes. And my Nanaji, my Dadaji I didn't know because he died when I was very young. But my Nanaji was a, was a Padri. Right. A little bit, not exactly like this character, but there were many images of aging Padris which filled my mind when you uh, brought me this character. And I just, I lost my mother last year, post, and I'm watching her pass away and watching the, the scene that we did together. Somehow we managed to get quite close to reality in that scene, which is why I think it... Uh, it works. But I, what I love about the film Anad, is that it's not predictable. You don't know where the next scene is coming from. Right. And yet there is a progression, but suddenly they get a scene, a new character comes from somewhere. I think this is, and I think uh, the writer deserves as much credit as you, but I think it's, uh, that's brilliant. I love that in the film, that you don't know exactly what's going to happen. Yes. And therefore, it keeps you engrossed absolutely. in his, in his absolutely, absolutely. So, how would you describe the film? Because I think for me, it's, it's a challenge at one level that um, it's not a film which has got all the rasas or it's not a conventional plot-driven film. No, to hai. And uh, yet, I think it's it's a so it's a unique <laughs> form. It's a unique film. It is. It is. Uh, so, how would you? help me to kind of reach out to the audiences and share with them that what is this film, what should they expect and kind of... Uh... I view this as a love story okay. and that your character has a love for many different people and for many different things. But basically she's in love, she's in love with, her, with her, the character I'm playing. Mm -hmm. She's in love with the young man that she's in love with. She's in love with her own tradition, her own history. She's in love with today's world, she, but she's also in love with the past. So she's in love with many, many things. Lovely. But I, I like the way I, you put But it. The, she, her love, as you said, her love is asking a lot of questions. So I think any true love, if you're in love with somebody, if you don't have, if you cannot question that love, then there's got no depth to it. So I really think it's a love story. And I think really people shouldn't go think, oh, it's a, you know, like this lovely film was made on Wings of Fire, in which I also acted. Yeah. Which was more a look at the history of Right. But yours is not, people shouldn't go think, oh, a film on the history of Zoroastrum, then we'll know when they came Correct. from Iran. It's not that. It's, it's not, not that. that. It's, a, it's a modern day love story about a young woman who's in love with life. And I think people coming to see the film should say, yes, this can be ours. You don't have to be a Parsi. You don't even have to be a woman. Right. It's a, you're a person who's questioning so many things and the whole premise that religion is a very deeply personal thing and that all the rasam rivaj all the traditions and the things, they have come up, they were not there in the beginning. Correct. They came up because somebody, some people started doing this many, many thousand years ago and they liked it, so it's become a tradition. 
But so we have to think where does this tradition, every and religion faces and the same problem. And certain periods kind exactly. of demanded it, demanded politics it. kind of shaped and, it. And now ne it's not necessarily uh, true for today. So. And I like to describe it as when I was just talking to somebody the other day, this concept of Chinese whispers. Uh -huh. It's like, you know, it gets interpreted and changes. Exactly. And therefore, you know, what happens to the original message is quite uh, interesting. So you do a work, you do a work, I am film I am teasing you, I am teasing you. Another thing, just on a purely practical basis, I have made, I don't know how many films down through the years, very beautiful films like our film. They never saw the light of day. If I started making a list right now, the list would go to at least 15, 20 films. It's amazing that this film of ours is seeing the light of day on, on the 4th of September. It's absolutely amazing. That for me is... It's up there. It's there. It's It's for film. But you and your father, how you and your team, how are you managing to get it out there? I think it's just about attracting the right people at the right time. It's amazing. That has made it it's, it's, possible. It's absolutely superb. And uh, I, I mean, obviously, you've got some film like uh, you know, Salman Khan's latest. We're not competing and not competing with it. It's, that's cinema and hats off to them that they can make a film like that and it runs amazing. But it's amazing that a film like this, as you said, doesn't have so many of these rasas in it, but it has other rasas in it. It's, I think it's getting released and I think 4th of September should be a day of celebration, not only for our film, but for, for the thousands of young people or middle-aged people who are making cinema today and are wanting to get their films out there. Who are there. attempting to do something different. And inshallah, this Meaningful. will lead, uh, I mean, films have come out, I what not I just saw two amazing films which I never thought would get released. But now ours is also coming and uh, I think this is your stubbornness, your zid, your... Pyaar, my love for it, I think. It's a film that is made on pyaar. This film is released on pyaar. It's on pyaar. It's on pyaar. But zid is because of the love inside. I believe that if there is a desire so strong, then it cannot be held back. I think that's what has taken it ahead. Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. What's interesting, Tom, is that I was just seeing the entire film yesterday in the lab. And what struck me at one level is that uh, the film was, because it's centered around one protagonist, which I play, uh, somewhere reminded me of Alice in Wonderland. Yes, uh, yes. Not that it's kind of I dealing guess, with can, the yes, themes of that. Sense. But at one level, I think it was it was close to that in, in the realm of form that, you know, there is this different uh, magical world, this yeah. fantasy world that it you're going to. It was a very good comparison. And, uh, and, I, and, and, and I felt that was, that was quite an interesting kind of uh, uh, description to give of, even though, as I said, it's, it's not really about the content of it, but, you know, going into these different worlds. Yeah. But I would also say that our film is more... Uh, anchored in reality. At the same time, but the that, dynamics of the that's characters what I love it. are yeah. If you had, if you had just not. been out there in the, in the in Wonderland for Correct. the entire film, the film wouldn't have been interesting. Correct. And we are always in reality, yet we are not. Uh, like we have a character that. like Zurwan, who you see physically, who is also uh, you know a watchmaker. But at the same time, he has a whole dimension of being time. Yeah, so yeah. Time is, this is <laughs> he's suddenly not and there. I have to come to another speaking of time. In that scene on top of the hill, huh. when you were pushing my dead body. Uh, almost 90 kilo dead body on that cart, <laughs> but I was so scared. Remember, wait, you wait. Said, push it. You said, No, no, no I'm fine. It. I'm fine. I'm fine. It. I will but fall that, down if you, you see it. the shot, you're, you're no acting there. <laughs> you're really having to push I, this I really had to heavy push. weight, but it looks so beautiful up there on top of that yeah. hill. And if you think the physical difficulty of that shot, just the physical difficulty of pushing that my body on that, there was no road there, it was just a hillock. And then there's always a, in, in films, there's a relationship between actual physical and emotional and mental effort in shooting and what you see on the screen. Yes. And it, uh, if you had and the reality of reality, the activity, yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of and Because that and effort that you had to put in, and you can see on the screen, you're really pushing this cart. Yeah. And I added the breath. Yeah, it <laughs> was it it to child. kind of emphasize that. And you remember that we were running because the sun was the setting. Sun was setting, and and then we had to go back the next day I when know. you were not available, I know, I know, and you know, kind of shoot those. So these are all the lovely shots. things behind the scenes, which uh, people, of course, people have no clue. But yeah. somehow, many of these things get uh, transported onto the screen. Yes. In 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 the beauty of the 
of the shot. And the fact that it was just the sun was going down, we got it on the screen. Yes. And if we Imagine cheated it, Ajkal kya hota? you know very well, this color correction thing, which is a curse. <laughs> you shoot in the middle of the day, we'll make it look like sunset. No, you it can, doesn't you work. Can match, it you doesn't can work. Match. Color correction gets caught. Correct. And, you can't uh, match the beauty so if you get the, the real thing, that is that is worth much more than the very best of color correction. Uh, your character, Tom, for me, uh, and I, in fact, I'd like to go back to <coughs> uh, when I was casting for the film. Uh, many people say that this is the key cast. It's a Parsi film. You should have taken. Why didn't you take a Parsi? Not that they don't like you as a non-Parsi. They love you. But there is a question that since it was a Parsi film, why didn't you go to Parsis? And um, to answer that, I would say that I did go to a few actors. And for some reason, they did not identify with the role. But uh, now looking at the film, I just feel that I was so blessed to that they did not like the film and that I came to you because there is a personality that you bring to it, <laughs> which I feel is just perfect for the role. And I don't know. But when I came to you, it was not that it was based on any thought process, but suddenly I was here, it was like the dark night before the dawn and um, I didn't have my main actor for the film and your face just pops in front of my face and in front of my eyes rather and um, I see your blue eyes and your smiling face and, and I said, Tom, okay, <laughs> will Tom do it? <laughs> Is Tom really the right person? But since it was an inspired moment, I said I'd contact you and then you, you agreed to do it. Because the, the character is so beautiful that even though the character is just there for a few minutes in the film, uh, it is so powerful, uh, even in terms of the script and even in terms of um, your presence in it, that the spirit lasts, you know, the 79 minutes of the film. And I think uh, that, is, that is really... Beautiful and uh, thank you for being part of Thank you, thank you, Kuchni. Her actor is very good. And when I saw that, I realized that this is a very beautiful character. So I would have been a fool to say no to, to, say no to that. And uh, as I said, I, like you, I mean, I'm surrounded by, I would not say religious people, but spiritual people. And so the spiritual quest that your character is on, it, it, it touched me. So, as I said, I was been a fool to uh, What was it no when to. I met you that kind of uh, uh, made you have confidence in me as a director? Because I was a first-time director. <coughs> was well, there you, something that... Uh, well, you... Uh, we, will not, we will not get into the, these... these deep, no, I'm just joking. Okay. You, but you came with, with, a, with a concept and a script which were absolutely beautiful. If you'd come with some stupid concept and some <laughs> script which didn't make any sense, you could be as charming and beautiful as you want, I would have said no. Of course. And that's what all my team members did. They all went through the script and they said yes, not because of some favor or because they liked me or didn't like me or know me or didn't know me, but because of the power of the script. script yeah, yeah. But uh, also, there had to be something in me as a director who would do justice to the script. No, you, you, so when what you did, came Why did you feel No, when you came I, and you started talking about your script, um, yeah. you could see the conviction in you. Okay. And I'm, I've done so I don't know how many films, I've done hundreds, 300, 400. I have now, if there's not conviction, like you could be making a film worth 29 million crores. If there's not conviction in the person who's making it, I'm not interested. Okay. And you had, the other thing is, I, I've not, yours is, I've done many, many films for people who are starting out. And there's a certain joy in working with people who are, because they have a freshness in their approach. And they don't have this sort of jaded. Yes. Uh, but as I said earlier, I mean, I don't know, 15, 20 films I've done, which never saw the light of day. And for some reason, when we were making this, I s had a feeling that somehow this film is going to see not only the light you of did? day, but the, you did the light of the moon. You did because quite a few people also. felt that no, 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 it won't be released. No, no, no. I knew it. A, because your subject is, 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 I mean, it's a niche subject, so you yeah. do have an audience. Uh, not only Parsis, but people who are concerned about uh, what's happening with religion today, mm. you know, all religions. Mm. I mean, just today in the paper, this, uh, and I have to tease you on this one, they had this, the population growth of all the different yeah. religions. Parsiyon ka usme zikri nahi hai. Oh, God. So it's, but it's interesting that, for whatever the political reasons may be, they've said, this community or this religion has grown, this become become less. So I looked right till the end. Mm. 
پارسیوں کا اس میں ذکر ہی نہیں ہے سر سو آئی واز ٹیزنگ آن کے آپ لوگ مائنورٹی نہیں ہیں آپ لوگ بٹ لیٹ می ناٹ میک آئی واز بورن براڈ اپ ان مسوری وچ از نا اتراکھنڈ ایز فار ایز آئی نو این آل آف مسوری دیر واز نو پارسی مے بی ان دہرادون دیر مائی ڈین ون آئی نیور میٹ اے پارسی اینڈ ون گرل واز دیر ان آر اسکول ہو واز فرام بامبے ون بوائے لیٹر اینڈ بوتھ دیم ود آل ڈیو ریسپیکٹ ٹو دیم ایف یو میڈ کیریکچرز آف پارسیز دے ود اے کیریکچر I won't tell their names because one of them has done quite well. That I made friends, I've worked with a lot of Parsis and made friends with a lot of Parsis and I've seen that you people, you are unique. Not because of your religion or because of, but maybe because you're so small in number and you still have this great faith in your own identity. Mm-hmm. And you people don't hit people over the head with your religion. you know that we are the best and we are the greatest aap log ye nahi karte which which i some fort are kind of have this some parsis have this racial superiority but it's 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 but a, don't it's push it's, the it's of another it's others. of a very subtle kind and a very uh, intellectual not only actual it's an artistic way of doing it which which is beautiful and you people do have like all communities have got certain quirks and things but in this film which another lovely thing was maybe because i mean i can think of three characters playing very powerful who are non parsis i mean which you helped me to cast well that who alag and, and uh, uh, vivek kadir and the fact that three absolute non parsis could somehow be convincing as people mm-hmm. who are parsis i think this is a tribute to you all not to us as actors that you you people are universal you're not uh, and whatever you say about ko oh, gujarati mein kya bolte ke usme agar aap doodh mein shakkar dalen that's all just muhavara okay. you people came whenever you came i don't go in history into a totally alien country mm. and the fact that you were accepted means that you people had some quality in you forget about the sheer and the shakkar and the, all that business yeah. you had some quality in you right and uh, you people were accepted and you settled in to a, into a totally alien country and you're still here after god knows how many thousands of years it's a tribute to your attitude that if you had been all you know nose up in the air which some of you are all of us are and if your nose is up in the air then and you have very characteristic those problems here um it's it's anyway to get back to our film i i really think it's a film and you should be a little bit careful about targeting this to parsi audiences this film is much more than a film for parsis or about parsis no definitely and it was made with the intention of taking the parsi uh, issue and the subject and you know the crisis of the community and the religion to a world audience to a larger audience yes, yes. but uh, at the same time the parsi is my my immediate audience it and no i doubt. hope no doubt. it kind of helps me to go to a larger audience but but absolutely the film if it's limited to being a parsi would be then shown in a hall it would not be shown in a theater yeah. you know on a professional you see platform. and i always said and i'm not and saying this because you're sitting here kali koi mujhse baat kar raha tha about films or art in general you see if you if your message hmm. is stronger than your art hmm. no one's going to listen to your message correct your art has to be so strong that people will then pay attention to whatever you want to say Absolutely. but many people with a strong conviction they get it totally the wrong way around yeah. we've got something strong we want to say whether it is with all due respect feminists are a great victim of this even other people are baba what you want to say is fine but when you make a piece of art whether it's poetry or dance or theater or cinema or painting what you're making has to be extremely beautiful yeah then people might in, be interested right. in listening to what in you're what saying in what it is and, and in this and in this and this you have succeeded in this film that's that's my very strong that feeling it feels very nice because there is a very thin line between wanting to preach something and you know kind of wanting you to experience something and i think that's beautiful going back to the question that uh, was there a difference in the experience of the script and the film and why i go back to that is that because i feel that for me as an artist when i was creating uh, there was always of course there was the evolving script to just touch upon that uh, the evolving drafts were where i think the the master stroke when uh, the first uh, kind of uh, script the initial uh, storyline that was born was when farooq came up with the idea of the heretics 
Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, he had these, because I said, what unusual do we say? We can't just be saying the same thing or we can't just be saying facts and history. So he came up with this whole idea of having heretics from the Sasanian times and Mani and Mazdaq and Zurwan and I think a lot of Parsis have also not heard about it. Correct. And when he brought the interplay of these characters, I said, yes, we have something. And I think that was the starting point.